Hi, I'm Jack Sayer. I say I've made day two with a really cool deck. It's saying Prank Kids. After day one, we finished 5-3. I want to see how it goes. But this is the same what deck we brought and as to what profiles and everything ratios we've done as well. So, first of all, standard, free, every Prank Kid. Like, you have to play three of each. Pretty standard dies for that. No changes there. Uh, next up is the only other monsters I play, and the interesting engine I run for this particular one is the hero one. So I run one blaze man just to search poly, that's all you need. Then prisma, uh, just so that if you want, for example, you open with one, for example, on the promotion, you just normal summon that, use his effect, then you can just play away, which is really, really good. And actually came in clutch loads and loads of times this weekend. Uh, then next spells to back this up, just one equal. And one hero lives, uh, so you can pretty much open it as well. And the same thing, it's like with Roxy's as well. You just, if you don't want this and you draw it, you just banish it and just get a new card. It's pretty easy as well. And the amount of people that were surprised when you start playing with hero stuff, then drop crank kid stuff was um, quite entertaining. Uh, next up, stand, uh, free prank kid's place. Um, don't run the, was it the fusion field spell? Don't run that one. I know people are running uh, like the Alistair variant. But that just locks you really just having the you know the polarization search. Whilst with the hero engine as well, you get that monstrous well that means you can then open more plays and stuff as well. That's that. Free pranks. Personally I like the free pranks because obviously token generator, great ditched cards out your hand that you don't want. Also, end phase you can get the um, you know cert, sorry, the draw power and everything as well. Um, next free pandemonium then to go with that free poly the only changes i'll probably make to this would be running one less of the pandemonium and putting an invocation in reasons being with the combos mainly because the previous deck you were doing the thunder dragon variant where you would just make your know, thunder dragon colossus and end on that while if you got that you just locked in the prank kids and i feel like you can do more now with the game if you did one less than an invocation but it's worth potentially testing as well. and of course this is easily searchable and that's well so it's not much of an issue uh, standard free invocation start plays uh, free call by I don't really want to run this but you have to run it because you want to get all your effects off and everything as well uh, but yeah it's pretty good as well then one of reasoning great starter it's the same thing like Prisma if you've got one prank kids in hand then you just this you just Hopefully, just getting more. So, the odds of them getting it right are quite slim. Most probably cool for if they don't see it. The one desires, I was running two desires, but I decided to run that and that instead. It was far better, and I only used this, I think, once the entire tournament. Most of the time, I just banished this from Roxy's. The one terraforming, that's well. So, that's all the spells. Uh, last off, two Empire. Uh, I feel three might have been too much. He probably bricks this deck, is one of those where it's really tight fit where you have to fit everything in living as well and then just the one prank kids plan I know some people run two but the thing is though it's more of a brick and this obviously you want to win this, your games really really quickly everything as well so what I did is just the one so then if you do have it in hand you just discard it with you know, everything as well and just use it when you need scenarios and everything as well which wins your game which did for me uh, that's that for me then for extra free rocket ride one washer I know people have been doing like two and two or three and two. I find this perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues at all this weekend. And um, because obviously you can shuffle this back with all the other things and free if you need. This is more, you know, uni you know universally better in the sense that, you, you know, instant fusion or that as well. And you go for it way quicker than you do washer. Uh, Battle Butler, stand, great card. That's fantastic. Then two doodle, two bark. I was saying both great cards, I wouldn't change the ratios of those. Then Rip Roaring to go with. This card was actually, I've used this more than I actually normally did because I play like True Draco, this one as well, and Sky Strikers, so you just go end phase, just blow everything up, and you just see them cry. Uh, then non, I'm saying Prank Kid stuffs, one Dweller, one Toad. Funnily enough, I didn't actually use this once. This is why I wanted to use the more invocation build. Uh, same with just invocation, so you can make these cards more. Made Toad as well, that was fantastic as well. Then the last three cards, which I used all the time Bore Sword, Bore Load, and Appaloosa. So, 
It's fantastic. Uh, ball load actually was fantastic in a lot of one. Appaloosa is another really interesting one as well because you can end on a board with if you use the polymerization one with like um, doodle then like four monsters or cross so you just end saying doodle or weather so if you're afraid of some things and also the field spell boosts this up even more so it gets to I think I got it to 4100 attack against a dino matchup which was quite hilarious as well so last one we're going to do is just talk about sides um, pretty much use most things I just went two pangratrops uh, same for back rows or decks now as well because a lot of people were siding like anti-spell or uh, imperial order that sort of thing and uh, free nibiru I am contemplating actually playing two in the main reason being is that if you are going second obviously you can use it and if you are going first uh, you can just banish it with Roxy's so you don't really particularly have to hurt. and if you're reasoning it it's a 3k beater so there's another number there that's kind of cool uh, twin twisters don't really like back row that much and everything as well then you play the one other prank kids plan so if you think you're going to be in the grind game or everything as well you can play that as well uh, also if you're playing a back row deck you can then obviously decide to then set it to then use it quick to make the rooster which I did and it worked brilliantly uh, back row hay and everything as well evenly used it multiple times and it was fantastic this tournament and last one my lovely mix matched some judgments wasn't expecting it to come to free but so I've got my reach um, I actually used this and I played also Shadol Dino so you went for like uh, the ultra pill and I just used that but that was that yeah, it was sort of so great fun. Um, considering this was a last-minute you know, choice to play in this deck on Thursday evening, I decided I was saying it went really well. I'm really happy with how it's done. Well, but thank you all very much.